Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. You know, the South England Conference has responded to the documentary by the Channel 4 News concerning sexual abuse some years ago. I hope many of you have seen the video published by the Channel 4 News and uh, if you have not watched it, you have the link right in the description. In fact, the video was very, very, like, I don't know how to describe it, but <laughs> friends, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. So before I get into the response video by the conference, I mean the conference president of the South England conference, I just want to summarize the whole story. Like I'm going to summarize the whole story in just a few minutes so that people that have no idea about the story would actually get some basics about it, right? So this summary is posted on Spectrum. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in the United Kingdom is under fire for its failure to act on allegations of sexual abuse involving a prominent member, Donald Kelly. A Channel 4 News investigation revealed that Kelly sexually abused young boys for decades, beginning in the 1960s. Despite repeated warnings, evidence suggests the church did not take adequate action to address the abuse. Kelly, who died in 2022, worked across various countries using his status as a respected medical professional to exploit his victims. In response to the growing pressure from victims, the church commissioned an independent investigation into the allegations in early 2023. The South England Conference of Seventh-day Adventists issued a statement acknowledging the appalling and lasting harm Kelly caused, expressing sympathy to the victims and promising to share the investigation's result once legally feasible. Two victims, Michael Smith and Andrew Cadogan, waived their anonymity to speak out about the abuse. Smith, abused as a teenager, expressed frustration at the church's failure to protect victims while Cadogan continues to seek justice, saying, Where is my justice? Both men have accused the church of delaying the release of the investigation report and uh, failing to provide accountability. So friends, that was the summary of the story posted by Spectrum. And so when you go to um, spectrum.com or .org, you're going to find this story right there. The summary I have read to you right there on their website. Now, let's go ahead and uh, listen to the conference president of the South England Conference speaking about this issue. Like, he was actually sharing how sorry the conference and the church is concerning the issue. So let's go ahead and listen to um, the conference president. All right, let's listen to him. Dear brethren, friends, loved ones, on Tuesday evening, the 29th of October, 2024, most of us looked at a very disturbing report on Channel 4 News. This report was filled with disturbing details of a now deceased former member of our church, Don Kelly, who in the 1960s and 70s sexually molested teenage boys who attended one of our churches, as was named in the report. These acts as described by the two interviewees, and echoed here, were despicable, repulsive, heinous, and acts of sadistic, diabolical nature. 
no person, I repeat, no person should be subjected to this. And we are deeply sorry for what you have gone through, you, the victims. This person breached the trust of parents. Every moral and ethical code in society and a Christ-like character. To the victims, we are sorry for the hurt and pain. The trauma suffered by you at the hands of this perpetrator clearly has left scars and we give you our sincerest empathy. Abuse of any kind should not be condoned in any way, shape, or form. As a church, we are doing our best to ensure that this is eradicated from our congregations through constant education, vigilance, and by motivating all to adhere to our very strong safeguarding policy. We at the SEC believe that we can do this together. One individual going unreported can cause immense suffering and pain. We need maximum cooperation and help with this from you, our faithful members, our pastors, and workers. Wherever there's a culture of silence around these issues, we are encouraging you, our members, and those who fellowship with us, those who worship with us, those who come and visit us, to speak out and report these incidences. Even though the spotlight has been cast on these incidences in the late 60s and 70s, the impact is felt today. We are truly sorry. I have four children, including teenage girls and a son. My heart bleeds at the heinousness of these incidences. The victims are at the heart of this saga, and that is why, as a new administration, we endorse the fact-finding investigative process that began in April 2023 that has led to these revelations. We thank you, our faithful members, for your continued love, care, prayers, and support for the victims, even as we do the same. May the love of God bring healing to our hearts. Again, to the victims, we are sorry. So, friends, that was the conference president of the South England Conference. And uh, I must say that um, this is very unfortunate for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Europe and across the globe. Friends, this is unfortunate. You know, when you ignore issues without properly addressing them, the same issues will come back in the future to haunt you. You know, this problem of not properly addressing issues on the part of some SDA leaders is not only within the South England Conference. It also happens somewhere else. And I think this should be a big example to all SDA Conference leaders. Because now, 
social media and uh, others are available friends they are available and so if you do not address issues properly victims will go on social media that is the gospel fact there are many sdas that are angry that are feeling so sorry like it's it's very heartbreaking let me share with you one comment it says the church has a disgusting habit of not listening when abuse is reported but when enough people complain they move the abusive pastor to another district or country so guess what happens when they are moved they leave a trail of distraction in multiple churches um but i agree with um some of what he is actually saying here you know sometimes the church the leaders the conference leaders sometimes do not address issues properly so i think this should actually be a lesson that is it friends let me pause here and uh, invite your comments many sds are commenting about this issue what is your comment what are you saying about it how do you feel about the documentary how do you feel for the victims and uh, what are your thoughts concerning this issue so friends let me know your thoughts in the comments this is all that i had to share with you today my name is lawrence thanks for watching and i promise you that i'm going to update you on this issue you know that is our job thanks for watching see you next time